Thank you, Mama. We don't have to send their money back. They're crazy about each other. Yes, but I don't know if that's the right way to look at it, Papa. You can't just fool around with people's lives like that. This is a serious responsibility. Now, if all these people are not really married, well, I don't know if it's honest to keep their money. Why should I send their money back when they're just as happy as if they were really married? But that's not the point, Melvin. Now, look, Mama. When these people get that letter from the governor, they'll have a choice that other people never get. Now, if they like each other, all they got to do is to say yes again. And if they don't, well, it's all over, and that's the end of it. Who else ever got a second chance like that for a few bucks? Well, if you say so. People that lucky ought to be sending me money. Well, that leaves four more couples that you married that week. Well, who's next? Next, Mr. and Mrs. Jefferson D. Norris, Sanatobia, Mississippi. Oh, yes. That was that cute, shy little girl and that jerk of a fella. Why, he wasn't any jerk at all. He just had a lot of foolish ideas about who was going to be boss in the house. Yeah, that's what I said, a jerk. But that little girl, oh, wasn't she cute? You remember how she blushed about everything? Mrs. Abbeysburg! <laughs> Mrs. Coldwater! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner and new state champion, Mrs. Senatobia! Like her? Boy, that's really something. My wife. Oh, I beg your pardon. Well, that's all right. Keep looking. Aren't you blind? Soon as she is now. Yeah. Hi, Mommy. Hi, darling. Make it snobby, will you? Is she going out again? Yeah, we're going to that Legion party. I want to get the Legion to back us to Atlantic City. But she's already been out all day. Look, uh, we gotta get the financing done, don't we? Hurry her up, will you, please? I cooked the supper already. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, honey. It's very important tonight. Spitzy, all right? He's all right. I don't know whether I am or not. What's the matter? Don't you want your wife to go to Atlantic City? Well, sure, but I'm... Well, all right, give her a break then, will you? We're up against a tough proposition here. They like this Miss America business. They're loaded. They got the backing of everybody. Pullman drawing rooms, hotel suites, limousines, everything you can think of. We're just getting started with Mrs. America. We gotta hustle for everything we get. Will Miss Mississippi really have a limousine? But your life she will. If we get the backing of the legend tonight, we'll have one too. What we gotta do is to get this thing set before the finals next Saturday. 
If we haven't hooked a sponsor before then, we're dead. We won't have enough money to take us to Memphis, much less Atlantic City. How many rooms? How many rooms where? In this Mississippi suite. Oh, two, three, I don't know. Both ways? Both ways what? Miss Mississippi's drawing room. Open your mouth. Come on, open it. Where's Mrs. Norris? At the office? Why don't you just deliver the mail and save those jokes for your wife? Bitsy. Don't make any noise. No luck? We got half of it. That's all they said they could afford. We may have to take a swing through that Delta country yet. You still think you got a chance? Oh, we make it all right. No question about that. Just that we'll have to hustle a little harder, that's all. He's asleep. Did you give him the prune stuff? Gave him the prune stuff, washed the dishes, mopped the kitchen, darned three pair of socks. Oh, darling, I'm terribly sorry. Mm, I remember. This seems like a lot of worry now, but when she's Mrs. America, you laugh at it. She's going to be one of the most famous women in the United States. And do a roll in faster than you can count it. How? Why, through personal appearances, of course. Nightclubs, radio, movies, things like that. No nightclubs in Senatobia that I know of? Maybe not, but there are plenty of them other places. New York, Chicago, Hollywood. London, Paris, Rome. And all this time, I'm supposed to be hanging out the diapers? Why, certainly not. You'll be right with her. Is that really the way you figure it? Why, of course. Well, I'm going to be with her, all right. But it's not going to be in New York or Paris or any of those other places. I'm going to be with her right here in Senatobia, in this very house where we are now. And if there are any more diapers to be hung out, she's going to hang them. What do you mean, Jeff? Because you're not going anywhere anymore. You have been scratched. You are now the ex, Mrs. Mississippi. What's he talking about? But what does it mean? Just what it says. What I wired the National Committee this afternoon. But, Jeff... That due to very unusual circumstances, our marriage wasn't legal. And you are no longer eligible for the contest. You mean it means we're not married anymore? It does. Fiance. Wow. 
I beg your pardon. That's all right. Go ahead and look. I got to get used to it sooner or later. There's your mummy. There's your mummy. Wave to your mummy. Wave to your mummy. That's it. Wave to your mummy. <laughs> 